Oh my gosh, guys, I just made these bagels that are gluten-free, grain-free, and low-carb. I can't wait to show you how easy it is to make. All right, guys, so I've really been craving bagels lately, so I haven't made this recipe in years, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make. Um, this is obviously gonna be a super low-carb option. It's keto-friendly. Um, I have all my ingredients laid out, so you should have most of these things in stock. We have our mozzarella, cream cheese. This is the first step. I'm actually gonna show you step by step. So we have our cheese and cream cheese. We're actually gonna stick it in the microwave just for a few seconds to get it nice and melty. And then I'm gonna show you the consistency right now. All right guys, so we're at a 30 second mark here. You wanna give it a good little mix so it doesn't burn. And now we're gonna put it in for another 30 seconds. So this is the texture after one minute and it's actually perfect. I thought it needed about 10 more seconds, but nope, this is it. So one minute, 30 second increments, just stir once in between and we're there. We're just gonna throw our almond flour right into the same bowl, which I love. I love that we're able to make everything just onto one bowl. And then we have our baking powder, sprinkle that evenly across. And let's add in our eggs. So everything just right into one bowl. Like how easy is that? Boom. And now mix. So I'm just using my spatula. You can definitely go in with your hands and like mix everything. And guys, before you start the recipe, make sure that your eggs are at room temperature because if they're not, there's a possibility you can cook the eggs with the heat of the cheese. So this looks like a really good texture. It is gonna be a little sticky as you can tell, like the dough will be sticky, but I'm gonna show you how I use almond flour to form the bagels. Okay, so our dough is all done. Now what we're gonna do is just grab a piece of parchment. We're gonna grab our parchment paper, add a little bit of almond flour right on top. Add a little more just because I know that our dough is a little sticky, but this is the solution, guys. Okay, so we grab our dough, put it right on top. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of almond flour on top. The dough is a little sticky, but as you can tell, it's very manageable once you add the extra almond flour. So now we're just rolling our dough into a log. That's the goal. We just wanna roll it into a log. Okay, so I measured this out to about two inches each. So I cut the bagel pieces into about two inch squares and then now we're gonna form our bagels. So we actually have two techniques here and you can use whichever one you want. First one is we roll it into a little ball. Nice and even. I have nails so I'm just gonna put like my knuckle through it just to kind of form it, see it. And then I'm just gonna make the hole a little bigger. So this is one way. For the hole on your bagel, you do want it to be a little bit bigger only because when, when it's cooking, it might actually close up. And then this is the other method. And I'm gonna show you how I made this one. So I just grabbed my little piece of dough and now we're gonna form a little log. It's about a good eight inches and now you just connect and then just kind of try to smooth out that little piece. But, so these are the two methods. And for the seasonings, I'm thinking we're gonna do like an everything but the bagel seasoning and like a sesame. I'm gonna grab my Thrive Box because I have the rest of my ingredients here. Most of the ingredients that we use for this recipe, um, I grab them from Thrive. So they come in their little packaging like this, super cute, convenient. And for those of you that don't know, Thrive is an online membership market. Everything is delivered straight to your door. You're guaranteed a savings. And all of their products are super, super clean, which is, you know, you guys know that I'm on my gut health journey. And right now, everything that I'm purchasing is 100% clean. And right now they're offering you guys a 40% discount on your first box. They also include a free gift and free shipping. And if you're wondering why I didn't spray it with oil, it's because um, when, once we put it into the oven, it will leave the top like extra brown so it doesn't look like it cooks evenly. 
All right, guys, so our bagels are nicely seasoned. Now we're gonna go ahead and bake these for about 10 to 15 minutes. It really just depends on your oven. You're gonna wanna check them about the halfway mark. Um, I would say about seven minutes, seven to 10 minutes, you wanna check them just to make sure. You never know, you don't wanna burn your little bagels. Okay, so our bagels are all done. I cut one in half and spread cream cheese on it. I was gonna do the taste test with that one, but I feel like we should just try it all alone and see what the texture and just like the flavor is. So I'm gonna try the everything but the bagel. So we'll take a little bite. Mmm, look at the texture. Mmm, oh my God, this is delicious. Okay. You know if it tastes good like this, it's gonna be absolutely amazing with cream cheese. The outer part has a really nice crisp. The inside is nice and fluffy. I think like on a comparison like to a normal bagel, it comes really close. So I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, share with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or maybe just trying to make some healthier choices in their life. Thanks again for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.